Well, almost fell. Hey, Tony here, Random Ventures 2.0. Where are we at and what are we doing? Well, where we're at, we're in the woods. <laughs> so what are we doing? We're going to do a tent camp. As you guys know, I'm normally a hammock camper, but I just did a review on a fire maple tent. So I thought my next camp, I'd get out and uh, sleep in it. All right. Well, if you're ready, buckle up. Here we go. So one of the first things that we want to do is we want to get our backpack off. Oh my goodness. And then I'm thinking this spot right here is going to be a good spot to set up. I've got this tree right behind me. Oh, and one thing about a, um, when you do tent camping, <laughs> you got to find a flat spot. With my hammock, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so uh, let me get this backpack off. We're going to set our trekking poles right here. Oh boy. All right, so I set the hammock up for the, or the tent up for the first time the other day. And it took a lot longer to set up than the hammock because you know with the hammock, we just pull it out of the bag. We got two uh, tree straps. We just run one around here and then take it over to another tree and then bada bing, bada boom, we're done. <laughs> All right, so, well, let me, uh, you know what, maybe I'll put a um, little ground sheet out real quick and then I will lay out the tent on that while I do the ground sheet for the tent. So you guys have seen this before you saw me use this. This is a, uh, it's a ground sheet. It's made by um, One Wind. It's for putting your backpack in when you're mm, not using it. And if you're expected rain, we're not expecting rain. Maybe a chance of a little bit. You know, you can never trust them. <laughs> oh, weather guys. All right, so I am gonna just stake this down right over here and then I'll get the tent out. I'll lay the tent out on there and then... Uh, <laughs> I hear I'm looking around for trees. Oh, we're gonna hang it on this tree and that tree. We ain't doing that today. But I might do something else too. Ah, I, gotta, I gotta clear sticks away. All right, there's the... Uh, backpacking thing i just put the uh, last peg in so you can see all four corners are in now that's a zippered thing so i've got it zippered up so that it's a more of a bag so yeah made by one wind but i'm gonna leave it zipped up uh, in the smaller footprint because i just got to stick my uh, backpack on there but oh like i said i gotta get all the sticks out of the way i think we're gonna go right in this spot here <laughs> Need some nice dry sticks. <laughs> yeah, we haven't had rain for a while. Uh, I'm liking this spot. This nice flat area right here. All right. Well, it feels pretty uh, like no rocks right in here. But like I said, it's, it's, it, it is flat coming right off of that tree. So let me brush some of these leaves back, get some more sticks, and then I'll bring you back. Well, I think that's cleared off pretty good. Uh, so there is no rocks, just some, still got some leftover sticks. Uh, there is a little slight hump right here, but uh, I think I'm gonna sleep with my head up this end, my feet will be at that end, because I wanna look out that way with the unit. So yeah, oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> All right, so let's get the uh, tent out and get that opened up. I think I might lay stuff out over there as well, but, oh. <laughs> so the first thing I got on top of here is my food. <laughs> and that's all in this right here, our dry bag. I'll tell you what we're eating later on. Oh, we got uh, my pillow. All right, let me throw everything over there on the, uh, ground sheet there okay i pulled most of the stuff out of my backpack but right there is our food that's something for breakfast which is a coffee cup and stuff uh right here we've got the game cam we're gonna go ahead and use that uh but this is what we're gonna cook on which is a fire maple product as well i've got my c c or gci outdoor stool uh, which is a three-legged stool. I've got our sleeping pad, our blow-up pillow, and then we've got our tent. 
and it is getting late <laughs> but there's our uh Osprey, this is a eighth year 55 liter. Uh, there's more stuff in there like my top quilt and my puffy jacket and some of that stuff that's in there and <laughs> a bunch of other stuff too. So this is the uh, pack that it comes in. Uh, if you want to see the whole setup of this, if you want to watch it from beginning to end, um, there's a thumbnail. <laughs> it would be a review video. Uh, and I said in that that I hadn't slept in it yet. So that's what we're going to do now. So everything's packed in here, the ground sheet and the whole tent, everything. All right. Well, I think I'm going to go right there. Yeah, it's definitely cloudy. Yeah. Like I said, not calling for rain, but we'll see. So, okay, I got to get busy. So it does come with 14 stakes. I've got the ground cloth down. That's the first thing that goes down. Uh, then we got our poles. Now, the only reason I brought you back on to show you these poles is they're all one piece. They're all hooked together. <laughs> so, uh, are you ready? <laughs> they just all snap. <laughs> you just kind of drop it. They all kind of work themselves into place. And then you just walk it out. Now, that, these are all going to go on the corners. There's little eyelets for them to go on. All right, let me get these all walked around and put into place. All right, that snapped in. So we just got our interior tent. So I could just go with the interior tent if I wanted to and not put up the uh, rain fly. I, I actually have a tarp as well, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Put the rain fly on and everything. All right, so there is these little clips that we just snap on. I just wanna find the top. There we go. All right, let me snap them on and then get these center poles going. Okay. That's the interior tent. Like I said, you have this center rod right here that these eyelets go on, and then you just clip these little clips down. And then it's got a bathtub in it for the, which means the floor of the uh, tent, and it comes up, so you do have some side walls in case it rains, you don't get mud splattering in there. But if I was confident that it wasn't gonna rain tonight, I could leave it like this, but I am gonna go ahead and put the whole thing on and go from there. I just got a couple more stakes to put in, but I'm gonna go ahead and open up the vents. Really cool. They got Velcro and these little sticks that are sewn in here, and we'll just go ahead and vent it like that. And there's another one right on the other side. I'll get that one. All right, let me get the doors out. Okay, it does have guy lines you can run out that are on the sides and back. I'm not gonna run those out. It's not supposed to get too windy, it's a five to 10 mile an hour winds, uh, but we've got all of our stuff laying right there on the <laughs> backpacking cloth. But this is uh, the unit with the flap open. We'll probably close that at night. I gotta get the blow up mattress in there. I've got uh, a pillow, blow up pillow. So I thought I was out of breath before. <laughs> so I'm gonna get that blown up because we gotta go get the game cam set up before it gets too dark. All right, let me get those blown up. <laughs> My face is probably all red. Oh, I need one of them battery operated blow up things. That is a lot. <laughs> My cheeks are hurting. All right, let me throw this in the tent. Oh, I think, <laughs> I hope it fits. And I'm probably gonna lay with my head up this way, and get in there. All right, now I just got the pillow to blow up. I think we're gonna just, ah, I'll close it for a little bit. So I do have a parking lot right down there. I came up far enough. If I was in my hammock, I would have hung closer because I, I'm used to the hammock and I can <laughs> pretty be, be pretty stealthy. But what I did, since I knew I was bringing the tent, um, for the first time, 
I don't want to be seen with the tent because of the color and things like that. So I did bring um, my ridge line, and then in here I've got some camo uh, sheet. Let me, I think I'm going to use those two trees and keep it high enough or low enough to where it blocks anybody looking up from down there. All right. So this is just a camo sheet. I'm just gonna use a stick. I got a pru stick on the end of this. I'm just gonna run this through a hole right here and then stick a stick through it. That's all we need. A little twig just to hold it there in place. That's good, and I'm just gonna walk it on out. I forget how long this is, but I think we'll be good. Yeah, that's really good. So I gotta get that other Prusik. There it is, slide it down this way. Through the hole, and then grab another stick. That's a nice twig right there. That should be good. Oh yeah, I can hardly see that. And because we've got a little bit of wind, I'm just gonna go ahead and attach this. I just got a little stick here. We're just gonna make a little stake and stake this down. This ground soft enough that I can push that right in there. There you go. Yeah, it'll work out perfect. That'll keep it from blowing around in the wind. All right, well, it's a little after five o'clock. So let me get that game cam out. Okay, we have our game cam right here on the tree and this is what we're looking at. We're looking at this log. You know, there's a lot of animals in the woods that don't like to walk in the leaves all the time. If there's a log, they like to jump on the log and run across the log make up some time. Uh, one of the things that we do have, and <laughs> we've got a lot of squirrels, I've seen them running on logs. But this is a look at the woods, it's getting dark. And then this is right behind us. So, uh, I don't know. I'm not really with the leaves down seeing any trails. Uh, so we're just gonna take our chances on this log and hope something runs by it. And and I did see um, a lot of leaves moved out of the way, like scratches and stuff. I don't know if that's turkey or squirrel. Yeah, there's some right there. All right, well, I'm going to turn this on and get out of here. we got to get back to camp. Yeah, I just turned it on. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, before, yeah, that's that scratching right there that I saw. Saw quite a few around here. And I think we're far enough away from camp with it that... <laughs> Like I said, we, we've put it out quite a few times. We've gotten things, but not a whole lot. We've gotten raccoon, deer, uh, what was that, a possum that one time. Uh, uh, squirrels, obviously. But when we were out in Colorado, I put it out and wanted to see if I could get an elk. I saw elk right before the camp that we did. Uh, I saw the elk in another little field. Uh, we put it out, but a lot of elk droppings, but we're not gonna see any elk here in PA. Well, this part of PA, but if we went more north, we would. All right, let me get, navigate myself back to camp. <laughs> okay, I'm back, to, <laughs> I'm back to camp. So like, I've got the blow up pad in there, the pillow. One thing I didn't throw in there yet is my top quilt. So all I'm using is my my hammock top quilt. Now this is a down top quilt. It's only supposed to get down to 43 tonight. I know in the uh, hammock, uh, 43 is no problem. I do have my puppy puffy jacket as a backup. Uh, but so far, <laughs> this is way harder than setting up my hammock. Um, but think it should be good. I'll let you know in the morning. <laughs> a lot of people commenting, 
oh my goodness, Tony, you're going to come becoming a ground dweller <laughs> because you're not hanging in trees anymore. Uh, this is the one time that I am going to do the tent to see what it's like. Uh, I'll probably do it again and another time, but we're going to see how tonight goes. All right. Well, do I, there's a plenty of room to put my backpack in here too. Uh, maybe I'll do that. I can store that down in that bottom corner. And then I could put this flap out and use a trekking pole and keep it out this way as a little vestibule, uh, which is pretty cool. All right, well, let me get finish getting my bed made. Oh, so, like I said, I just got the top quilt. I think we'll be good. I've just never slept on the mat or on the ground, so it's, maybe I'll just go ahead and lay down on it and see what it feels like. Oh. Well, there is plenty of room in here. <laughs> That's one good thing. Oh, that actually feels pretty good. And pillow. Ah. Actually, <laughs> it's pretty comfortable. Yeah, I, like I said, I was going to bring the cot. Uh, but then I was thinking, I don't want to get the cot all the way out here and then not be able to get it in the tent. But I've used this pad on the on the cot already, so plenty of room for the cot. Hmm, pretty cool. All right, I got a ton more stuff to do. The view out the window is really cool. Yeah, that's a nice view. All right, so I do have the backpack in here as well. Yeah, all four corners have this uh, storage bin here built right into the screen interior tent. Uh, and then up top, I've got, <laughs> you can see I've got an Olido bulb up there and a thermometer. And I just checked it, it was 58 degrees. Yeah, gonna cool down pretty quick later on. So I did set the uh, fire maple table up. Now, I, <laughs> It's got little poles on it, and you just shove them down in the ground. There's four poles. I've only got two on that right now, so uh, keeping it low to the ground because our stool. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to cook on that or how I'm going to do that. Because are we cooking? Yeah, we are cooking. <laughs> and what are we cooking? Well, I'll show you that in a little bit. Let me get my stool set up. Put this down there for now. I want to check out the table, make sure it's high enough. If not, I can always put another another one of those rods on the extension. All right. And, and like getting on a horse. <laughs> All right. I actually think that's a pretty good height. Yeah, I can cook right there. I think that's good. And then... Uh, yeah, the food's back there. <laughs> well, let me get it all set up, and I think we're going to go ahead and cook before it gets too dark. Yeah, the camera's probably showing it much lighter than it is, so I'm going to have to get the old light, old bulbs out and do that uh, for cooking. I just keep hearing noises down there. All right, well, let me get our food. Yeah, we are losing light fast, so I just grabbed the uh, fire maple uh, lantern out of our backpack <laughs> and I give that a light here quick trying to get a little bit of light on the subject I got to turn oh, oh there we go <laughs> I thought I turned it out so there's a little hole that you light it on with that side and then there you go and do I want it that high oh about like that <laughs> A little bit of light, not a lot, but it will help. So I am going to set that down on the ground over here. I got that lantern turned up pretty good there. Yeah, so it is helping with some light. Because like I said, it's getting dark very, very quick. So what are we having? Well, <laughs> we're having bacon for one thing. I've got a whole pack of bacon here. Put that aside. And let's see. Where is everything? Oh, what is that? Oh, okay. So, 
So I have, oh, what is in there? I forgot what I put in here. What is that? Oh, that's a stick of butter. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what that little white block was in there. So I've got everything in this bag. So we're having bacon. I've got two nice brown eggs right here. So <laughs> getting a the theme. We're having breakfast <laughs> for dinner. I got a well, not a whole stick, but a half a stick, a little less than a half a stick. Now, this is what I wanted to show you. This is really cool. So, as you know, I'm total carnivore. Um, so, beef, bacon, eggs, and uh, water, and uh, something else. Oh, I eat some chicken, some fish, but I'm over six months now carnivore. But, look at this. <laughs> You're saying, Tony, that ain't, uh, that ain't carnivore. That's a waffle. No, it, it's carnivore. It's 100% carnivore. Uh, what is it made out of? Pork rinds, believe it or not. So it was, uh, I just made them the other night. One, one cup of pork rinds ground up into like a flour. Uh, has four eggs in it. And then I put a pinch of salt and uh, beef gelatin. So only a couple ingredients and it makes waffles. So I'm thinking of doing um, an egg, waffle, bacon sandwich. We'll see if we can pull it off. I think I can pull it off, but I'm gonna heat these back up in the pan. But we're gonna cook that on our fire maple pot, but I gotta not use the pot part. I'm gonna break it down. It's got a little grill top on here, and then I've got a pan, which is a non-stick pan. Also, <laughs> we're having a theme tonight. Uh, also, a Fire Maple product. It's their non-stick pan. I get it out of the bag. There it is. So it's in this mesh. So I'll get that pulled out, get things cooking, and mm. <laughs> eat. <laughs> All right, well, let me get, uh, working on this little table, the lighting, I don't know how this is going to go. We'll give it a try, see how it works. Hopefully you can see it. If not, you'll see it when I'm all done. Ooh, I love this pan. So I got a little gas bottle for this one too. So this is the burner. Generally, the cup goes right on top of it, but we're not going to use that. We're going to use... They have a little, um, I guess it would be called like a grill top for it. So we'll do that. It's got a ignition on the side. So do we need anything else? Oh, there's the base for that. <laughs> so this is a little base that goes on the bottom of the uh, fuel canister. All right. Well, keep them moving. Yeah, <laughs> it's a getting dark. All right, I just opened the bacon, and I didn't really think this out too good. So I got to cook the bacon in this pan, which is going to give you right there. But then I got to cook the eggs, and I got to heat my waffles up. Hmm, how are we going to do that? Oh, what did I do with my waffles? <laughs> They're hidden in the dark. All right, maybe I can uh, put some stuff in here uh, to keep it warm in my cup while I do the rest of the stuff. Ah, we'll see. I, I hear something over in that direction there. Shuffling through the leaves. Maybe it's something going to our game cam. All right, well, let me uh, figure all this out. Ooh, maybe I can use this as a plate too. Uh, there's a lot of bacon here. I think I'm going to cook it all. <laughs> I got to turn it on. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's cook it all. Then I got a Ziploc bag. I can put it all in. Oh, I got to turn that pan on.
This is a non-stick pan, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a little extra butter, because uh, I love butter. All right, we got two eggs, so give them a crack in there. There's a one. Ooh, it's not level, because <laughs> the egg went right to the one side. All right, oh, we can't fix that. Ah. And our second egg. So I'm going to go ahead and break those yolks. Yeah, if we got a little bit of shells in there, well, that's all right. It'll just crunch. I get those in my Ziploc bag. Oh. Yeah, this is a little tough being able to see. Get that smoothed out all around there. Let that cook. Then I'll throw our bacon in there. Then we'll wrap it up with the egg. I don't know if I can flip that or not. Might have to turn that up a little bit. Some of this bacon, I can just eat this bacon all by itself. I'm going to throw some right in the center there. And then I'm going to roll the sides up on this, ooh, bacon, bacon. With our spatula, kind of get it into a round shape. Oh, here it's sizzling. Just so it fits on that waffle. And we gotta get our waffle in here, heat that up. I just had them in the refrigerator from when I made them the other day. Give that a good press down. So if you noticed, I don't have any cheese. I've kind of backed off. Cheese, I only have that like once every couple of days. Oh, I love this non-stick pan. All right, let me keep that off the heat for a second and get them waffles. Set that on there. Oh, waffle, waffle. <laughs> There's one, and then I get the second one. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and flip this over and then get that waffle, first waffle, down. Oh, don't fall, don't fall. <laughs> I'll be picking it up off the leaves. Yeah, it's the first one there. Then we'll get the second one on top. That's yeah, looking good. And then I'm gonna give it a press. And then I will bring you back once I flip it and get it ready to chomp on. <laughs> okay, we got our uh, waffle sandwich all finished. Oh. I gotta pick it up out of this pan. Ooh, it's hot. Oh. Here we go. I'm gonna use this as a plate. I'll set it here so you can see it. Hopefully you can see this. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, I don't know how good that looks to you because <laughs> I can't really see you. <laughs> but there's our waffles made out of pork rinds. All right, first bite. That's really good. Really can't tell that that's not a waffle. It has me fooled. <laughs> hmm. So you can put vanilla, cinnamon, stuff like that in it, but <laughs> I didn't. I just put a little bit of salt and then those other three ingredients. Mm. Mm. Bacon's very good. I still got a bunch of bacon in the pot. <laughs> We're gonna heat our water up in that pot later. 
in the morning for coffee <laughs> and nothing like bacon flavored coffee in the morning. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and eat this by the light of the lamp. Mm. Yum. While I'm getting things cleaned up, I turned one of the lights on in the tent. I got one of those old light old bulbs in there. Oh, that was good. <laughs> I am full. Oh, you hear me hiccuping. Mm. Oh, you know it was good if you're hiccuping. So it's definitely getting colder out. Ooh, and there are bugs flying around the lantern here. Uh, but I got my um, Wu-Ban light out. I thought I would shine it around here in the dark. <laughs> oh, it's the lowest setting. Second, third. Oh, it's got, there's one, two, Three, I think that's the brightest. Uh, looking up at all the trees. Yeah, I made sure I looked around to make sure there was no uh, widow makers up there because we don't want anything falling on us. But the wind cut back. Uh, it was a little windier. You know, I was going to get out. Um, I have this fire maple. This grill that we've grilled on in the past, I was going to get that and set it up as a little firebox and put it on there and uh, just have a little fire because I could get twigs from the branches, but uh, I don't think it would last too long, so uh, it's going to get late. I don't want to do a fire tonight. There's too many leaves. It's pretty dry out, but that actually sets up and holds the fire right inside of it and so and if I thought if I set it on this table that would work out pretty good I don't know I'll think about it uh, maybe I'll shine you around here a little bit oh. yeah so out that direction there that's where we uh did our game cam way up there and I've been hearing noises up there so uh, hopefully we can get something on the game cam but we'll find out tomorrow morning yeah so down in that direction right there is where the parking lot is and that's why we got our camo netting up and then just, yeah these are the branches I was thinking so if all the wood on the ground is wet you can always get dried wood from dead branches hanging in trees and there's a lot of them <laughs> around so if we did decide to have that fire we could go around and collect branches but it is getting late and uh, I'm thinking I don't want to stay up too long to manage the fire and then I only have one liter of water left so I'm gonna use that for my coffee in the morning, <laughs> so I don't wanna don't wanna have not enough water for my coffee because we'd have to put water on the ashes just to make sure it doesn't smolder overnight. All right. Well, oh, I gotta close them vents on the tent because it is getting colder. Yeah, they just got that little Velcro right there and. Push that back up in there and press it down. <laughs> it's closed. I'll get the one on the other side as well. Oh, watch my tent stakes. Don't want to trip over those. And I will probably go ahead and get the door unlatched as well down here. And then go ahead and get it closed so I can zip it up tonight. Ooh, we got our o light o bulb in there. <laughs> the there are a lot of bugs. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I gotta get, 
I got to get that zipped up. I had unzipped it to get something out of the backpack, but I think there's bugs getting in there. I hope not. Ah, uh, looks like they're on the outside. That's good. Oh, so I have a little bit of trouble with that stroke side. I can't get down on the ground too good, uh, but we manage. <laughs> it's getting up. That's the hard part. Oh, here we go. Uh, there we. That's why I don't know about the tent so much as uh, the hammock. Yeah, I can just get in and out of that. Just swing my legs over the edge. All right. Well. I will talk to you once we're all settled down in the hammock. Or, oh, no, not the hammock, tent. <laughs> I am in. <laughs> I think a couple bugs snuck in. <laughs> I got the lantern in here. I do have my uh, top quilt. I'm all ready to go for bed. Like I said, I'm getting tired. It's late. <laughs> so far, this is... Uh, pretty comfortable laying in here yeah and the lantern even though it's putting out heat I uh, can just barely feel it up here but it's dispersed it's not going to do anything to this mesh this is 3b mesh uh, so yeah and the uh, 20d nylon I think it is uh, for the uh, tent body um, and the fly nylon as well uh, it's supposed to be seam sealed. I can see seam seal. Uh, at least the seams are all shiny like they're sealed. <laughs> so, uh, but it's not supposed to rain tonight. So, but uh, we do have a uh, dew in the morning a lot of times. So it's good I did put that on so we don't get the dew around us. Well, I am going to go ahead and go to bed. I don't know if anything's going to happen the rest of the night. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but if I don't wake you up again <laughs> with showing you something. Um, I'll see you in the morning. All right. Well, good night. Lights out. Oh, I got oh light old bulbs on. I got our lantern on. I'll turn that off. I get my lantern. Oh, my oh light old bulb. I got one here. I got one up there. Oh, get over here. <laughs> it's uh, so much work. Uh, oh, two lights. <laughs> oh, can we do both at the same time? All right, lights out. There we go. All right, good night. Uh, well, how was uh, last night's sleep? Eh, not bad. Well, not too bad. First, <laughs> first time sleeping on the ground on this mat wasn't too bad. It was cold. I could feel the uh, coolness of the ground a little bit. <laughs> Uh, but top quilt did good. Ooh, I got a moth flying around right there trying to get out. Oh, and there's a little bit. Is that a mosquito? Ah, uh, what is that? There's one on the inside and one on the outside. They must have got in last night when I opened the door to get in or I had it hanging open while I was getting something out of the backpack. But, oh, I'm ready for a cup of coffee. What time is it? It's getting late. <laughs> I was having one of those mornings where uh, you want to get up, but you don't want to get up. Uh, this morning was one of those, eh, I don't feel like getting up. So I've been laying here, going back to sleep and waking up and going back to sleep, looking outside. Oh, the sun's definitely up. It came up from that direction there. All right, well, let me get myself situated, get up out of here, and uh, get a cup of coffee made. It's time for coffee. I'm ready. Uh, so I'm getting everything pulled out of here so I can pack this away. Uh, so I did roll up this sleeping pad. This is a Powerlix, I think is the name of it, and this is my pillow, Thermarest pillow. 
So we'll get those packed away into the backpack. And then the puffy jacket, I took that off. So I did crawl out of here. <laughs> and I was all my hands and knees. Like, it's like, oh, how am I going to get up? <laughs> so did not film that part. Yes. So crawled right on out. And then I'm like, well, how am I going to stand up? <laughs> and then I got stood up. Yeah, it just took me a while. It had been about a three or four minute video because <laughs> I got to would have had to come out get the camera set the camera up go back in climb out uh, it's too early in the morning for that I just still didn't have my coffee yet okay everything out of storage yes good uh, there's my water all right so I got the bag to pack the tent away in which we'll do that but I want to walk over and get that game cam back over here uh, I can look on the screen and see what's on there. And then we can maybe watch something over coffee. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Oh, come on, leg. <laughs> see what I mean? <laughs> All right. Well, I will be right back. Well, I am back from getting the game cam. <laughs> so it's laying right there. I just got back and grabbed everything that I needed to make my cup of coffee, but we've got the game cam. Did we get something? <laughs> yeah, we did. All right, well, uh, I'll show you what that is here in a couple minutes. Uh, no, well, maybe seconds. <laughs> I don't know. But I just grabbed my uh, coffee. This is the uh, whole coffee bean grinder. It's a crank. So what do we have? Ah. <laughs> uh, Pretty cool. So you remember uh, we were making dinner. It was around 618, 620, around there, somewhere around there. Uh, get this all ground up. So we're going to do a pour over. I got to get the water going as well. Um, but I stopped during dinner and I go, look in that direction. And I said, I hear footsteps. I think that's near near our game cam. I hope we get something. <laughs> and we did. It was a fox. You'll see him coming into the frame here uh, off to the side. And then, so it was good that we put it where we did because that log, he must have heard me. And when you see him here, he jumps up on the log. I think he heard me. Uh, but I think he's looking also for mice, you know, the woods mice and stuff. So he's looking around. That's a good front shot of him right there. And then he kind of keeps walking down the log, jumping up and down. And then he kind of takes off from there. There he goes. There was three videos, uh, a total of 15 minutes. Uh, so that coffee's all done. So a, a total of 15 minutes of him just being around the log. <laughs> That's all we had. That's all we needed, right? <laughs> so uh, let's get our water poured in here and get this thing fired up. And then, like I said, we're going to do a quick pour over. This is uh, the coffee, coffee brew, buddy right here and it just goes over top of a cup uh, and then you pour everything right through it but let me get all that fired up let me heat my water up and then I gotta tear this tent down yet I don't know if I'll just hang out here for a while let you guys go or I'll pull this down say goodbye and well let me think about it over coffee all right <laughs> here we go Well, my coffee's all done. I've got my breakfast in my right hand. <laughs> what am I having for breakfast? Well, <laughs> how about butter? <laughs> so that's st that, that quarter stick of butter that I had, or however much it is. Mm. 
Yum. Breakfast of champions. So I'm drinking my coffee. Mmm. Hot, as always. And I'm thinking, you saw me set the tent up. I don't know if you want to see me tear it down. <laughs> Watch it in reverse. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to finish my breakfast, do a few things, and I'll talk to you in about, oh, two seconds. Hey, that was uh, less than two seconds. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I got everything cleaned up. Uh, leave no trace. So everything's in my backpack. That was a really cool uh, overnight camp. Now, the uh, Fire Maple Tropics two-person backpacking uh, tent, I liked it. Yeah, I did. Um, I don't know how it'll do in the rain yet, uh, but seems like it'll do okay. So far, so good. I've enjoyed it. Even though I'm a hammock camper, I <laughs> enjoyed it. It was a little tough for me to get up and off the ground, but that's me because I had a stroke two years ago in March. All right, well... I think all we got to do is just cue that music. <laughs> there it is. All right. Well, hey, I want to say thanks a lot for coming along. And if you can't get out and have your own adventure, keep coming along with me. <laughs> I think we're having an awesome time. Yeah, we are. Um, I hope you are too. Uh, but uh, until next time, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Maybe the like button. <laughs> And if you never want to miss one of our uh, random adventures, hit that notification bell right there. And we will see you on the next one. All righty. Have a great week. Tony 2.0.